Hey Chucks, welcome back to The Witcher 3 and we were just about to figure out what is up this hill. I saw a, a small tent or something up here and I'm wondering if there is anything for us to loot. And there is a, a glowing container. So I wonder what that is. And someone got horribly slaughtered right in front of it. So I wonder what was going on here and what was he looking at there's a windmill over there was he this is where that we slayed the griffin was he just watching us and i mean he certainly had an amazing view onto how we dealt with the griffin but apparently something did not work out too well for him so let's hope we will have a better better luck and um, yeah I'm just con concerned that those, all those wolves will come up here but hmm. strange hmm you said strange so I should be concerned I think and wolves you just go away thank you all right let's just take the safe stuff and, um, yeah, I don't like those wolves being behind me, so, yeah. I think the key is patience and dodging. Like, let them come. Oh, now there are more of them here. Get out of here, damn it. Ah, yeah, they all came up here. God damn it. Die. Right, there's one more. The question is, is it coming up? It doesn't look like it. He saw the fate of his friends. And he was like, nope. This is not worth it. Today is a really bad day to die, so uh, see you next time. All right. So uh, this just scares me. So let's uh, let's <laughs> save just in case. And uh, spies notes. So he was a spy. Oops, wrong button. So what were his notes? Let's read it. 15th day of observation, 23rd of Burke. Back in the camp, brought in heaps of plunder, mostly armor and weapons, but this time a sealed chest too. Towards dusk, a man delivered ration rations of food and drink. 16th day of, day of observation, 24th of Burke. Messenger arrived in the camp before dawn. Caused quite a stir, they immediately organized a group to transport the chest. After dusk, I'll try to track down where they carried it to. Seventeenth day of observation. Didn't move the case that far away. Just to the abandoned hut near the oat mill. Set up a watch so I wasn't able to get closer. Eighteenth day, day of observation. Every man in the camp has been drinking since yesterday afternoon. If we attacked now, we'd obliterate them. Too bad the commander only sent one man, me, to this outpost. I'll try to sneak in tonight. If fortune smiles on me, perhaps one man will be enough. Well, I think as we've seen, he was not enough and uh, apparently they found him. I mean, it looks like he literally just got up out of his bed while he was sleeping and they just slaughtered him. Now that's interesting. Um, all right, well, bad luck for him. But we already took care of uh, the loot that was down there so let's take a look at the world map again and there's one more thing there's an undiscovered location like right next to us so yeah there's a bunch of stuff here so why don't we go down there and and see what is down there yeah there are a bunch of wolves to my left that might attack me like any second. What's this? 
Oh, is this just berries? So, alright, let's, um, can we get up here? We might be able to run up here. And there's already enemies. Is this the bandit camp? Oh, damn it. I just want to, like, sneak up there. Without being seen, ideally. Yeah, it looks like a bandit camp. Can I shoot anyone from here? That would be great. Wait. Actually... Uh, there's apparently one right in front of me, and I, I do not see him. But let's check out our... Um, Dancing Star, do we have any left of those? Oh, no, we don't. Okay, so let's take the, the bolt and a uh, the shield. And then there are two up there and one guy down here, but I, I can't seem to see him. He must be standing. Like behind the hut. So let me actually just go down there and approach from a different angle so that they, uh, so that I actually can. Oh, really? Alright, I pull you two. That killed him? <laughs> wow. That's interesting. Oh, did his buddy kill him? That would be ridiculous. Oh, but there are a bunch of them up there. So, it might be worth to do a... Igni? What's up, buddies? Oh, ouch. That hurts. Holy shit. And I will do a Quen if I can. Go behind you and attack you from behind. How about that? How are you like that? Oh shit. Oh damn it. Yep, I'm pretty close to being dead. I immediately, like, broke my shield. Uh, my, my spell. Aha! I knew it! Alright, so... So you should go in there only with absolute full health, and uh, I didn't, like, didn't loot this one yet, so we know what the spy's note is. I think we got everything in here. Maybe not that one back there, yes. Alright, wolves go away. I don't care to fight you. Alright, let's get that honeycomb before we are heading up there. In a second try, this time, hopefully a little more successful. Uh, we take this one, and yeah, I don't think the Igni did a ton of damage, so I'll just aim for you. And All right, so. I am not sure those two are dead. Then, all right. Let's eat the meat. Oh, what the hell? Take the fucking sword, would you? Oh, crap. Come on. I can't first. Alright, I get you're the shield dude. Oh, let me see if I can shoot you. 
Nope, that didn't work. All right. All right. Oh, come on. You clearly were not in the situation to defend from this after. All right. Let's, um... I think Urden is a pretty good one now. Huh? Yep. Oh, you have to go into it? And I shall do this one. Burn you up maybe a bit? Alright, All right, finally! Yeah, this one went way better, you know, if I actually care to uh, not just run in and just smash the A button, it actually works out pretty well. I just need a lot of repetition, it seems. And, uh, and that means, like, a lot of those deserters and barbarians just slaughtering me, so... I hope, slowly, I get the idea. And also, it didn't help that he put his sword away and tried to, like, beat him up with his pure fists. Yeah, you know, don't bring your fists to a sword fight is probably a pretty good idea in this land and this time. Alright, there's a ton of loot here. So I have to make sure I get all these um, barrels and, and loot them all. It would be nice if there would be like a loot all across all those um, uh, chests and barrels and everything. It's a little tedious, but alright. I think we're, we're getting to the last bits and pieces that can be and I am stuck here a bit. All right. All right. It's not that I can't take those. I would love to take like the just the chunks of meat here and put them over the fire. But unfortunately, that does not seem to be a thing. So I guess I I can't take their their nice nice meat and have to keep hunting my own meat. In the form of uh, wolves and rabbits. Oh, there actually was a, a sword in there. But most of the time, those swords are pretty bad. And also, what's kind of like, eh, is that... I mean, those guys are clearly big halberds and, and a nice sword and a shield. And they did not show up for me to loot. So, where did they go? Did I break them or something? I mean, that's the only... I, I just assume that is what happened you know I, I beat them up so hard that it just broke the shield and their sword and, and their axe they just like like cut them in the middle that's how I was able to defeat them that easily so yeah let's just go with that let's see what is in there nice trousers a vial and bread yes more to regenerate my um, life essence and what a nice bed. Now I feel like taking a nap when I see an amazing bed like that. Considering we're out in the middle of the wilderness. And there's more money. I don't think there's anything that I can... Oh, dirty funds. That was a quest, huh? Hmm. Let's check what that quest was. And let's just save real quick. Oh, yeah, let's check what this quest was. I don't remember taking one. Um like that um, it was called dirty money there you go dirty dirty funds find the bandits treasure using witch senses read the letter you found ah, I guess that's the letter you gotta give up this madness Morgan mom's beside herself saying that's not becoming of a Temerian stealing from innocent folk bad enough you deserting the army like that but to take to robbing and how are you even sure you aren't hurting your own by accident? What happens if you and your mates make a mistake? You ever think about that? No, you didn't. Ever since you were a lad, you always acted first, thought later. Or never. But he ain't a lad no more, so put an end to this reckless adventure and head home. Geralt found the camp, but the deserters refused to surrender the treasure without a fight. They attacked the Witcher at once, which proved a fatal error. Geralt vanquished them without much trouble, searched the camp, and found a sizable cache of valuables. During his stay in Red Orchid, 
A certain letter found its way to Geralt's possession. Intrigued by his appearance, he decided to read it first chance he got. Um, yeah, what letter did we get right now? Um, let me check. Okay, this, I think, is the letter. To His Excellency Velerald, Lord Mayor of Visma. Your Excellency, we can't wait no longer. The scouts say the Black Ones are already readying their siege equipment. If you wish to escape with your life, please present yourself at the Visma Temple Quarter Sewer Entrance tomorrow at the crack of dawn. There's not much room on the boat, so take with you only your closest family and most valued treasures. I shall provide a few men to act as guard, but not too many. For I do not wish to attract unwanted attention. We shall sail through Black Sol, Stone Stonewar, White Orchid, and Sharks. From there, we shall continue on horseback. Yannick Delm. P.S. Do not tell anyone about your flight. We do not wish to arouse panic. So, where is this? It is at the Vizima Temple Quarter Sewer Entrance. So, where is Vizima? Oh, yes, on the world map. So, Vizima is here, right? The Royal Palace. So, maybe we want to actually check out the sewer. Um, yeah, before I forget, let's just try going to that area, see if there are like interesting area, um, objects marked as well. And, and if they are, you know, we can just be like, okay, let's come back to just clearing all of this out here and figuring out what is going on uh, on the rest of the map here. There's still a bunch of undiscovered locations, two places of power that I see here, that, and, and a bunch of stuff down here that will give you more experience and uh, more stories to find out about the White Orchid. So, I'd say we just travel to the Royal Palace. Oh, we, we only have the Royal Palace, huh? So we can't actually go to Visma itself. Alright, that is fine as well. So let's just continue to the next um, place of power. I think I already vi uh, visited that one. But let's extinguish my first monster nest, I was about to say. But I do not have any bombs left. So, let's go down here to see what's going on there. In our quest to figure out what's going on in White Orchid and killing all of the bad guys. You know, and obviously taking their loot. Oh yeah, speaking of loot, I think I saw a pretty nice sword. Uh, unfortunately, it is much less damage than ours. So we already have a pretty good sword. And all of those are, you know, just way worse. Or the same. So yes, this hatchet would be plus 18, but we already said we will only use swords. Because that's what we are. We are sword masters and not hatchet masters. Alright, Roach. Let's continue our quest to figure out what the hell is going on in White Orchid. Let's not... To oh, what is this? Go, go! Oh, this is just it's just a bridge. Take it easy. I think. Yeah, it's just a a bridge and a kind of a wall. So yeah, we still want to go through there, and then right down. Hmm, not even it's close. It's it probably had something to do with um with the attack. Maybe it's like a defense perimeter. Get out of the way, Roach. Come on. Ah, nope. It's not what I want. Alright, Roach, get out of here. And I shall get out of here. Let's open these gates and see what's behind them. It was a very dramatic opening. And nothing is behind it. Alright, Roach. Come on here. We gotta keep going. Alright, let's go through the forest here and, and see what we will discover at that undiscovered location over there. Why? It goes down there quite steep. Faster. This is 
small house down here. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Let's take a look. It looks like an abandoned house. Oops, sorry. Looks like something small to loot here. But no story behind this place. It's just an abandoned hut in the middle of nowhere. So where's this place we want to see and figure out? Let's go for a small run. Alright, how far is it? Where are we? Oh, so we're at the crossroads and there's a monster nest back here, but we don't have any of the the bombs anymore. That's still a little bit. Let's let's get Roach. That's it, Roach. And follow the road to that location. We do not know what is there. Um, I think I don't know if it's that location up there. I just simply don't know how to get up there. Um, we already tried. Um, but yeah, I, I do not see a way to get up there. That- Oh, shit. We should get the fuck out here. Holy crap, that hurt. Maybe- maybe there's a way now to get up there? Uh, because they attacked us? And yeah, damn, that arrow to the back hurt. And thank you very much. Alright, how do I get up there? I do not see any way to get up there. But it says, like, you know, undiscovered location. But I, I just don't see a way to get up there. Do I have to fly up there? I'm just gonna slide down everywhere. Um, yeah, this is, this is a weird place. I do not know how to get up there. Yeah, I mean, we already wasted a ton of time trying to get up there. Um, I didn't figure it out the first time. I doubt I'm going to figure it out this time. Um, so... But before we continue, let's call this an end to this episode. Thanks so much for coming along, and see you next time.